It's back, the annual Pro-Am Summer Basketball League. In its third year at De La Salle High School, a mixture of college, professional, and occasional high school players. That's where Islander senior-to-be Tyrell Terry comes in. He's playing against the much older and trying to prove he belongs. He's just out of his junior year in high school, and he's getting ready to play his first game in the Pro-Am at De La Salle. A summer league where most of the competition will be three to five years his senior and have him by about 25 pounds. It's going to be a great experience. Uh, this is going to be my first game tonight, but um, it's going to be fun to see uh, what it's like to play with guys at such high level and uh, some of them play professionally overseas and things like that. So I'm looking forward to it. It is what he needs to take another basketball step as his career moves forward at a fast pace. It's perfect. The young man just committed to Stanford. You know, he's going to be going against some pros, some college kids, you know, and for high school, you can't get any better experience than that. You know, you may not be able to go out here and score, you know, 40 points or whatever, but you go out here and play with some pros or some guys who, who are already been where you want to go. Battle has it back out on top. Terry, not his game has been good enough to get noticed nationally committing two weeks ago to Stanford. Uh, Stanford was just a, it was kind of an easy decision for me. Um, I've always been a guy who uh, takes academics very seriously, and uh, it was kind of a perfect place where academics are very high as long as well as the competition in the Pac-12. Ironically, another Islander, Reed Travis, helped get him to Stanford before he committed for his final year at Kentucky. He pointed the Cardinal coaches in Terrell Terry's direction. He was actually the one who um, told the, the coaches about me to start recruiting me and things like that, and uh, I've had conversations with him about what Stanford's like and things like that, so yeah. He is not big, he is skilled, a pure shooter who puts in the time in the summer. My week is comprised of about four or five, uh, six a.m. practices in, uh, in the week, uh, weightlifting, uh, pro-am games and uh, things like that. On his first night, he holds his own, using his quickness and court awareness against the much more mature competition to make some plays, a good start. There's a mental piece, a physical piece, and a skill piece to it. There's, there's a lot that goes into it at the next level. And I'm just trying to develop myself at each, each, in each one of those aspects, and uh, hopefully I'll be ready uh, at the next level. That's why he's here, to speed up his growth. Because when you can do what he can do, you have a big upside. And playing against the big guys helps move that along. They know a lot uh, more than me about the game and what it takes because uh, a lot of them have a lot of experience. So I'm just going to try to soak in as much experience and uh, information as I can while I, while I play with them. And knock down that three, right? Yes, sir.